Brad Eckhart's a drug trafficking scumbag who cooked up a bad batch of ecstasy which killed Robin House. I did the crime. I've done the time. It's over. He gets out of jail and within a week we've got reports of Eckie's being sold at the school. Eckhart has paid the penalty that was asked. Now, whether we agree with it or not is irrelevant. He's free to live wherever he likes. Your only right is to go back to prison with all the other animals no, Jack, where you belong. Jack, Linda. I'll be watching you, Eckhart, and yeah? I'll put you away. You understand? Come I'll on. put you away. Homicide are on their way, boss. How's Lawson? They're both in shock. It's hardly surprising, a lot of circumstances. So the ecstasy's been coming from here? Looks like it, yeah. He caught Eckhart up there, tried to make a run for it, and the floorboards gave way, and he fell. Why has Anne caught me here? I can't get much sense out of it yet. All right, I'll have a word to Lawson, make sure he's in one piece and get onto ESD. Mate. So, can to sign lab upstairs, get onto the lab boys. We need them to get their video evidence before crime scene get in there. Yeah, I'll do it. Dry dive, nasty. He didn't jump. He fell. It ain't just as hard. Okay, someone needs to get hold of Eckhart's mother. Do you have a formal ID? Yeah, I'll do that. You okay? What did you say before about me being a loose cannon? Looks like I've just blown my head off. You've got the truth on your side, Jake. Everything's gonna be all right. Mr. Thanks, Nancy, I'm I'm terribly sorry about your dreadful loss. I want to know what happened. We're investigating the situation. That's all I can say at the moment. <laughs> all those years without him, I thought he was going to be with me now. I thought everybody would just leave us alone. <laughs> you. You, what did you do to my son? I didn't do anything to your son. Mrs. Eckhart, you should go home. I am this not going home. If you hadn't kept on and on and on at him, this would never have happened. He'd be alive now. Now I shall go. I've said what I've come to say. This way, Nancy. <laughs> now, if there's anything I can do... Paul? Is that the mother? Yes. Got issues with Lawson here, has she? She's just lost her son. She's probably looking for someone to blame. So am I. I believe you've got another witness here. Right, let's get you out of the way first. You know you're entitled to have another member present. I'd like Sergeant Gallagher to sit in. Right, Sergeant. If that's what Constable Lawson wants. Thanks. This tip off about the lab. Who gave it to you? A school kid. She was dealing for Eckhart. Wanted out. Her name's Jodie Adams. Adams has got two D's. Like the Adams family. So you got to this lab and found Eckhart there? Yeah, I told him I was placing him under arrest. And what happened then? He tried to do a runner. He knocked me over. And then the um, floorboards just gave way. He disappeared. He fell? No, no, he managed to grab onto a water pipe for about a second. And then... Um, how long before you got down to him after he fell? As fast as I could. 
could. He could have still been alive. And when you got down there? He wasn't. Definitely. He was a mess. Anne Courtney was almost hysterical. Any idea how she came to be down there? I was following him. Why? To make sure he didn't sell any more drugs to any more kids. Like Deborah. I understand you've lost your daughter, Mrs. Courtney. I'm sorry. Someone sold her bad ecstasy. He sold it to her. Eckhart. How do you know that? Makes sense. As soon as he comes back here, this whole drug thing starts up again. So you were following him? Did you follow him into the tower? No. Why not? Oh, I wanted to, but I was scared. I was still working out what to do. Go on. Uh, the young constable turned up. And you followed him inside? Yeah. After a few minutes. I couldn't see where they'd gone. I was still working out what to do when... When? I heard some shouting from up there. And then he just fell. He just fell? That quick? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I mean, he just dangled there for a second and, I mean, I wanted him punished. <laughs> Yes, no, maybe. She's pretty confused. Well, she's just seen a man die and lost her daughter. I'd say that's understandable, wouldn't you? What about Lawson? How did he go? Clear, concise, very credible. I'll need to speak to Jodie Adams in the morning. I reckon I'll be out of a job once crime scene can get up to the lab. <laughs> well, pleased to hear it. Oh, not that it isn't always a pleasure. Pity Lawson's only witness wanted the victim dead. What do you say? You know I can't say anything, Parrish. Is he going back to Melbourne? Not straight away. He's just got a few loose ends to tidy up. Loose ends? What loose ends? Well, Jody Adams. Yeah, it's going to be fine, mate. You've got really? nothing to worry about, Lawson. All you've got to do is what you're doing now. Tell the truth, be clear and cooperative, and if you need to talk, my door is always open. Thanks, boss. Yeah. What's going on? Don't worry. Donald accepts what you've told him. Sure about that? Credible. What's the word he used? Yeah. Thanks for being there for me today. It's my job. Is that all? Jack. Sorry. Um. You know, could I push the friendship a little bit further? I could really use a drink. I could use all myself. Jack Lawson! Well done, mate. You nailed the bastard. Oh, Jerry, no. No, 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 no. no. It is down, about mate. time that you served it up to that scum. I, I want to thank you. Can I buy you a drink? No, I'm fine, mate. No, really? no, no, listen, you are a bloody hero at Chris Top Shelf. Uh, Jerry, he doesn't want a drink. No, I'm not sure, you know. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, listen, you don't understand what you have done. You have avenged my boy, my beautiful boy. Do you know that he, he, would, he would be about your age now? Jerry. He would be come Jerry. on, Jerry. He's, Leave the man alone. He was still come on, alone. Back off, come on. Come well, on. I just want to come take on. you. Um, over here. I'll get the drink for you. Yeah, it's OK, Chris. Let's go. We need to talk. I told you not to chase a cart. You ignored what I said. I mean, where does that leave me? Hmm? I can't go on like this. 
Maybe if I talk to the boss and go to transfer, well, like to hey. St. David. Um, I mean, that means, that means we can't see each other. No, we can't work together. It's the only way. Okay, yeah, it is. Talk to the boss. Yeah. But not right now. The next few days are going to be yeah, hell. So it'd be better if I got onto it sooner rather okay, than later. A couple of days aren't going to change anything. Don't worry. Hey, everything's going to be fine. Just fine. Oh, good morning, Sergeant. Morning. Morning. You look bright eyed and bushy tails. You <laughs> make it sound like you're turning into a possum. Well, well, good night's sleep works wonders. Hey. 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 How are you going? Good. Everything okay with Jack? Yeah, yeah, he's getting on top of it. That's cool. No, I, I mean, I mean between the two of you. Same answer. PJ, <laughs> Sergeant, got a minute? Forensic report. Skip to the summary. PJ? Share it with us. Uh, physical evidence, including the presence of microscopic changes beneath the skin of the deceased fingers, indicate that he was hanging on for a considerable time. This physical evidence is inconsistent with the witness statements appended. So, the pathologist says that Eckhart was hanging on for some time. Why is Lawson lying? Hang on, hang on. Let's not jump to conclusions. Lawson told us what he thought he saw. I mean, there's physical plenty of evidence why... doesn't lie, Tom. Constable Lawson is not telling us the whole truth. <laughs> Jack... <laughs> Would not be that stupid. He said it was only a second. Oh, so did Anne Courtney. And Anne Courtney wanted Eckhart dead. It doesn't make sense. Is there any chance you're wrong? Is your memory playing tricks on you? I've told him everything I know. I, I wouldn't lie. Of course you wouldn't. But this is serious now, Jack. You can't afford to hold anything back. You really think I would? If, if you're protecting someone, or if you just made a mistake, please. Yes, come on truth is your best friend in these situations. Just get in there and tell him everything. Jack, you want it? Yeah, uh, we're just going to be uh, another minute. You understand the substance of the pathologist's findings? Yeah, I do. So how do you explain it? I don't know. I can't. How long was Eckhart hanging on? I told you. How long, Constable Lawson? A second? Ten seconds? I don't know exactly. You said it was a second. Look, something like that happens and time goes all out of whack. Do you know what I mean? No, you tell me. Look, I think it was about a second. If it was longer, it was longer. I understand you've been under a fair bit of stress last few months. What's that supposed to mean? Did time go out of whack when you got shot by the drug dealer? You really are a bastard, aren't you? What exactly are you accusing me of? I'm just trying to get the facts clear. I told you what I remember. The way I remember it. Can you remember how long he hung there? Please, I've told you all this before. Well, the pathologist report suggests you're lying. Maybe I got it wrong. I mean, how do I know? The pathologist could be wrong. I doubt it. The pipe was rusted. It might have cut into his fingers how more do than you he. Know? What? If the pipe was rusted. You said you were on the ground. It's an old building. You're confusing me. I mean, look, I'm telling you the truth. I was hysterical. I'm not sure how long he hung there. I'm sorry. At best, she's a lousy witness. At worst, she's... What? Lying. Protecting Lawson. Oh, come on. They've no. both got motives for revenge. I think she lied about where she was when her cut fell. She saw that rusty pipe. Maybe she guessed. And maybe she saw more than she says she did. Maybe she was in the lab with them. If she was in the room, she could be lying. To protect herself. Point. 
Lawson cast himself as the knight in shining armour covers Fran Courtney. And flushes his career down the dunny? I don't think so. Yeah, well, either way, it's all speculation. So can you explain the discrepancy between the forensic report and witness statements? What do you expect? Perfect recall after what they went through? Well, Constable Lawson, that's exactly yeah, well, what I Well, neither expect. of them would have been able to think straight. They would have been feeling crazy. They're emotional. Yeah, it seems to me you're the one who's getting emotional. We all want to get this right, Paul. Lawson included, I'm sure. PJ, what's the story with the sergeant and Lawson? Oh, she's a good sergeant, loyal to her troops. So you're telling me there's nothing else I need to know? That's correct. I don't know why you're dragging me down here again. Jody, how are you today? What do you want from me now? Just going to throw the interview room, thank you. Thank you, sir. Hopefully we'll get some answers, eh? Well, I never had anything to do with that. We're not suggesting you did. But were you at or near the tower when Eckhart died? No. Did you tell Constable Lawson where Eckhart's lab was? You, you need to speak up for the tape, please, Jodie. Yes, I told him about the lab. So why Constable Lawson in particular? I don't know. Um, he seemed to be the most full-on out of all of you about getting the dealer whose stuff killed Deb. Well, he pushed me really hard when he talked to me, so... And why was that, do you think? Uh, he was angry about Debbie. Same as me. And Debbie was a close friend of yours? Yeah. And that's why you wanted Bradley Eckhart to get caught? Yes, so I told the cop. How did you know where the lab was? Did you ever go there yourself? Yeah, I picked up stuff from him there. From who? From Eckhart. Bradley Eckhart. Did you ever help him make the pills? No, no way. I never did any cooking. He did all that stuff himself. Jodie, you don't seem too upset about his death. Why would I care? His drugs killed Deb. That doesn't make sense. These guys always keep the lab and the dealing separate. Maybe Eckhart was different. No, this was something he was always careful about. She was selling for him, not just using. But why would she need to know where the lab was? The answer to that question might have some bearing on your drug investigation. It doesn't change a thing as far as his death's concerned. Have you come to a conclusion? No, not yet. Well, don't you think it's time you did, for everyone's sake? For Lawson's sake, you mean? You've spoken to both of your witnesses twice. How long are you going to leave the question mark hanging over his head? As long as necessary. He's been asking questions about you and Jack. He's got no right to ask questions. Hey, he's got every right if he thinks you're hampering his investigation. I'm not hampering his investigation. I'm looking after a fellow officer. Do the same for anyone. I tried that one. He didn't buy it. He can believe what he likes. Fine. As long as looking after a fellow officer means you're not giving away privileged information. PJ, I wouldn't do that. Maybe your judgment's a bit clouded at the moment. Tess, just tell me you didn't tell Jack about the pathologist's report. I asked him to think back over what had happened. Tess, this is very dangerous ground. It's Donald's investigation. Leave it to him. Mate, I'm sorry. Jack's career is not the only one at risk at the moment. Hey, Benny. PJ, these videos from the clan lab section have arrived. Really? Yeah. Should videos from both labs? Two tapes. And uh, crime scene sent their results through. There's no uh, prints matching Eckhart's. Not at this latest lab. So what? That, that just means he was careful. Yeah. Doesn't mean a thing. They did find a couple of matching sets, though. Unidentified. Well, not mine. I didn't touch anything. Yeah, then they'll check and they'll eliminate you. Also, uh, they found some boxes. Barcodes tied them back to a Tisha's robbery. <laughs> That's a what surprise. Yeah. Thanks for that. No worries. Now, this is Eckhart's lab from his last conviction. Looks like a rubbish dump. Well, the place stank. I mean, we found a rat in one of those tubs of chemicals. They should make this compulsory viewing for addicts. Might put them off. Oh, I doubt it. Did his own cooking. Not exactly caught on blue, is it? Now, this is the tape of the lab that uh, Jack busted yesterday. And this is supposed to be the same operator. Mm. I mean, Eckhart's was an absolute pigsty. This one's cleaner than Disneyland. Now, either he did a class in home crafts when he was inside, or it's not the same operator. Well, maybe he upped his game, had someone helping him. No, he worked alone. And there was no evidence of his prints in this latest setup. 
Eckhart was there at the tower. Eckhart has got a record as a cook and a dealer. That lab has got to belong to him. No, we're talking facts, are we? Oh, fact. The only person who's pointing the finger at Eckhart is Jody Adams. And her story doesn't make sense. So you're thinking she's involved in setting Eckhart up? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Come on, Joe. Come with me. What are we doing? Picking up Jody Adams. Boss, what's going on? Our information suggests that Eckhart had nothing to do with that lab. Oh, someone set him up. Jody Adams probably knows her. No, 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 no. That, that can't be right. Jody Adams said it was Eckhart. He's saying she can't lie. I mean, she's, she's a druggie. No, 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 no. No, people like Eckhart, and they're never innocent. You know, once a pusher, they're always going to be doing it. Lawson, when we start thinking like that, we start passing sentence, and that is not no, our job. He stopped being innocent five years ago when he killed Jerry Housen's son. You don't get it. You don't get it. Scum is scum. And going to jail, it's not going to change that. What the hell was that all about? I just... I'm sorry. I'm going to get the counsellor up here as soon as possible. I, I don't need a counsellor, boss. I'm dealing with this just fine. And that outburst we just witnessed, that's evidence of that, is it? Jack, I know you're on edge. But you're going to have to change your attitude radically. Now, while you're like this, I don't want you dealing with the public. You're on office duties as of now. Oh, that's great. That looks like you're suspicious of me too. It looks like nothing of the sort. What it looks like is I don't want you dealing with the public at the moment. You've been through a terrible time. Now, I, I want you to see that counsellor. OK, OK, I'll slow down. I'll, I'll sit at a desk, but I don't need to see a counsellor. I can look after myself. Now, Jody, these fingerprints point to a second person. You were helping Eckhart in the lab, weren't you? No, I swear. I'll... So... You were just dealing for him? That's right. Um, I met him there. How often? Just the once. And when were the pickups? Days? Nights? Usually night. Usually? Usually night. I, I thought you just said once. Stop confusing me. Jody, I think you're lying to me. You knew about that lab, but not from Eckhart, because it wasn't his setup. So who told you about it? What does it matter anyway? I was selling and I found out where it was. Jody, I really need to know who told you about it. Nobody! I wish I never got involved. Now Deb's dead and I can't do anything. Jody, did you ever meet anyone else involved with the lab? I only ever saw Brad. It wasn't Eckhart's lab. So who are you covering for? Nobody. I'm not covering for anybody. Thanks. You didn't get anywhere, I take it? No. no look, I can't see her setting up that lab, but she does know who did. What, another kid? No. Wouldn't say so. We'll just keep an eye on the next couple of days, see what turns out. Yeah. That's it. Taking a prince, hopefully we'll get a match from the prince from the lab. Yeah. All right. Uh, ben, you and Joe get into civvies and go over and watch the girls' house. I'll see yeah. if I can get some help from some day. Uh, boss, it's got a call. Someone's car's been damaged at the school. All right, Sergeant, that's yours. Uh, I could lend a hand. No, you could stay here and finish those reports. <laughs> your car, Mr. Kellett? Unfortunately, yes. Anyone say anything? Well, I've been asking around, but nobody's saying a word. Have you got any idea why someone would want to do this? No, I don't know. I'm probably too tough on essay marks or something like that. <laughs> but look, let's not make a big deal about it. I'm, I'm insured, so I'll, I'll deal with it. It's fine. So why did you call us? Well, the gardener uh, found the car and called you. I'm sorry about that. That's OK, Mr. Kellett. But, um... You know, I might stick around and ask a few questions anyway, if you don't mind. He's not winning any popularity contests with his students. Anything concrete? Well, the general consensus is the guy's a sleaze. Hits on the girls. A bit touchy-feely, you know. No wonder he wasn't keen for me to talk to the students. You think one of them bricked his car? Jealous boyfriend, maybe. Yeah, well, it's been reported, so we have to follow it up. Will do, boss. Jody Adams asked him to sit in 
on her first interview, didn't she? What, what do you reckon? That Kellett's involved? Well, he's got a science degree and he knows how to run a lab. Yep, so would Brad Eckhart. I think Kellett's worth a conversation. All right. Uh, Sergeant. That outburst of Lawson's. You think he's holding something back? You don't seriously think he'd lie to us? Now, but... Slow down. I'm not suggesting anything of a sort. But I don't need to remind you how serious this is. Now, if there's something you're not telling me... There's nothing relevant. Perhaps I'd better be the judge of that. I think Jack is telling us what he knows. A man has fallen to his death while being pursued by a police member. No matter what you feel or what the investigation reveals, there'll always be people out there who'll say he was pushed. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. As long as you are. Uh, Jody's on the move. Caught a bus. We're going to follow it down the main drag. I wish you would use street names. Okay, stay with her and be discreet. Keep in touch. That's Thomas 900 back to main channel. Yeah. Receive that. Ah, to suck an egg. <laughs> First, you make a small hole in each end. Now yeah, she's looking nervous. Call cool, PJ? No, let's we'll just see where she goes. I think that's what's known as extracurricular activity. Time to call PJ. I'm her form teacher. She came to me and wanted to talk about... At home? Compromising position for a teacher and student to be in, wouldn't you say? No, not necessarily. Well, we can always get a second opinion from your principal if you like. All right. Yes, I've been seeing her. That's naughty, Nigel. Look, I thought she was more mature, you know, but then she started talking about running away and getting married. She's just a kid, for God's sake. You noticed that, did you? Look, I've been trying to finish it with her, okay? Give her the push, but gently, you know? It's very considerate. Is that why her friends bricked your car? Because you just used her and then kicked her in the teeth? Probably. But it wasn't like that. What? You would probably be aware of her involvement in this drug case, wouldn't you? Yes, that's why she came to see me today. She was upset. We just talked. I was concerned about her, genuinely. Well, there's a brownie point. And what did you talk about? Well, nothing. She just, uh, wanted nothing? to... She came to you. You didn't talk about nothing? Only in general terms, about how she was scared and wishing it had never happened, that sort Come of thing. On, Nigel, turn it up. It's true. She never mentioned anybody or anything. Well, except for Bradley Eckhart and his lab. Oh, here we... Look, that was not Eckhart's lab. And he had nothing to do with the drugs in the school, probably. Not this time. Oh, come on, Anne Courtney told Listen me... Listen to what I'm saying, Mr Kellett. I think you and your girlfriend Jody manufactured those drugs. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Is it? I suggest you get yourself some evidence before you start making accusations. I'm not making any accusations. I'm just telling you what I think. Then I suggest you prove it. What would tie Nigel Kellett to this lab? Well, first time crime scene went through it, Kellett was kind of suspect. PJ? Oh, well, we shall go to the ball. Can you read that? No, I... Let me help you out. It says M-T-H. 
Any ideas? Don't know, Mount Thomas High. Very good. Now, friends at the uh, drug squad found another bung with MTH etched on it, found in your lab. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. This, it could be. Uh... I'm talking about Eckies, Nigel. I'm talking about Eckies that kill kids. Pretty stupid using school gear, wouldn't you say? Oh, come on, any kid from the school could have stolen that equipment. Very true. But we've got a warrant to search your house. I've also found prints in your lab, which I'm sure your girlfriend Jody will tell you about. Any news on the warrant? Ten minutes. Right. I'll just sit back and relax for a while. Or well, you might want to help yourself and start talking. It would help you in court, Mr. Keller. Let's face it, mate. You're stuffed. Yes, okay, we were in it together. But things got too hot. I was scared. Nigel was a mess. We had to get out somehow. And Eckhart was the scapegoat? And Constable Lawson takes the rap. Right. Jody, Eckhart came to see me. Well, he wanted to know why I'd named him to you guys. He was going crazy, raving about his mum being ill. I told him that I'd meet him at the tower and tell him everything. You know, Eckhart would have denied everything if he hadn't died. We thought nobody would believe him. Well, we thought we'd be clear. We were going to run away in a few weeks. Oh, Jody, look, Nigel Keller was never going to run away with you. That isn't true. I'm sorry, but it is. He loves me. He was hiding behind you. He was pointing the finger at you, saying it was all your idea. No, no. He was also saying that you wanted to crank up production of the Yekis to sell to more kids. But that isn't true. Nigel wouldn't say this. He loves me, and I love him. I'd do anything for him. You've been charged in relation to the manufacture and sale of amphetamines. You may be questioned at a later date in relation to the death of Deborah Courtney. Do you understand that? Yes. You've been remanded in custody. I'm sorry. Um, we never meant for anybody to get killed. No. That was a bonus, wasn't it? And hey, you know, it was my fault. It wasn't yours. But your friend Deborah. No one to blame. For Lawson, Lawson, you. And Lawson, Lawson Jay, that's enough. You're to Jay, blame. Outside Constable. now. Have you gone completely crazy? Yeah, maybe I have. Yeah, well, you're a member of the police force. Start acting like one. She set me up. Her and her boyfriend. That does not set give me you up. permission to lose control. Jack, you saw Eckhart up there. You drew the obvious conclusion. It wasn't your fault. I can't have his death on my conscience, no. Tess. Oh, you don't know what it was like. We're up there and we saw him smashed all over the ground. We. What? You, you, you just said we. No, I, I was... I was up there looking down and I saw him. He was... Is she up there? Look, I'm just... Is Courtney up there with you? Tess. Tess. Yeah. No, no. She's told you what happened. She told you what happened already, Tess. I'm... I'm crazy. I, I just need to go home for a couple of yes. days, Tess. You do. You should go home. Can we talk? Sure. I don't think I can do this anymore. I was always so sensible, you know. Oh, you know, always played by the rules and... I never thought I'd get involved with someone at work. It's stupid. I know. Sometimes a job puts you so close together. I don't 
want to see anything happen to him. But he... Tess. The cop is right. We're supposed to do what's right, not what makes us feel safe. Talk to me. But as soon as I do, we have to deal with it, right? We'll deal with it? Yeah. I think Anne Courtney was in the lab with Jack. <laughs> he lied. Lawson, we need to speak to you. What's this about? There seems to be some suggestion that Anne Courtney might have been up in the lab with you. Like I told Sergeant Gallagher, I was upset and I was angry. And if I did say we, it was a slip of the tongue. I don't think Paul Donald will accept slip of the tongue. Was Mrs. Courtney in the lab with you or not? No. Constable, are you telling us everything you know? Yes. Can I go now? All right. He's trying to protect Dan Courtney. That is exactly the sort of stupid, macho act he'd pull. Are you trying to say that Anne Courtney is responsible for Eckhart? She Paul? would have every reason to want him oh, dead. Jack wasn't a big fan of Eckhart himself. There's no comparison, Look, I know. PJ. She's lost her daughter. Either way, I'm going to have to tell Paul Donald about this. Just, boss, please give us more time. This isn't about his career anymore. It's about the rest of his life. He's not making it very easy for us to help I him. I know, but we've got to try. If he keeps covering Frank Courtney, he'll end up charged with murder. What do you want to do? We need to check out the lab again. Yeah. I think we said all we need to say. Why did you lie to me? We all lie. I know you're trying to protect Anne Courtney, but you can still do something to clear yourself. Tell Donald what happened. Please. Would I still have you? I don't know. Like I said, we all lie. said she was standing here, but there's no way she could have seen that water pipe. She would have had to have been up top. Forensic said there are all sorts of footprints up here. Hmm. Went wrong. What sort of shoes was Anne Courtney wearing? Sandal things, what are they called? Birkin's tocks. How many times do I have to tell you I was not in the lab? And 
We have very good evidence to suggest otherwise. Well, say what you like. I wasn't there. Would you change your story if I told you that it wasn't Eckhart's lab? Well, that's not true. I'm sorry, Ann, but it is. The lab belongs to Nigel Keller. Bradley Eckhart had nothing to do with the drugs that killed Deb. Jack said. Jack? Jack said? Eckhart was innocent? Yeah, someone said him up. Oh, my God. What have I done? You don't look very good. Mm. No, Chris, I'm, I'm not so good. Yeah, is there anything I can do? No, it'll be okay. You, you know, I'm I'm here for you. If you need to talk, just just let me know. Jack, you're needed. What is it? What's wrong? Thanks, Chris. For everything. I lied for you. Constable, take Mrs. Courtney into Detective Hashem's office, please, yeah. and wait there with her. You've already got an opinion on that, don't you? Mate? We have a version. Is it true? You could have saved him, but you let him fall. Well, this forensic evidence suggests that, doesn't it? We're not interested in forensic evidence right now. We're interested in what's in here, so why don't you tell us? You hadn't run. Eckhart! I was going to place him under arrest, but... You ran. Yeah, he knocked me for a six. No! Help! Help! I didn't believe it. He managed to grab onto a water pipe. Please! Help me. Help me! And then Anne Courtney was there. I don't know how she got there. Please, help me! Nowhere to go, mate. Step down. Help me! Oh, you want my help now? Please, help me. Help me! Just like you helped her daughter? Mate, I swear, I've been clean since I got up. Please, help me. Once a dealer, always a dealer. You've got to your cup of the God's sakes! Please, help me! What do you reckon? Please. No. He's not worth it. Pull him up. And let him do it again? No. I don't think so. By the way, her name was Deborah. Ah! 
Sometimes it's hard for victims to take revenge. So I took it for her. And, um, you know, I'd do it again. He was innocent. <laughs> yeah. This time. Keep you informed, Tom. Sort of understand. Can't you why he did it? No. I can't. I never will. Come and have a drink with us. We should be together. Talk. I don't like wakes. They can help you get through. I don't think I'll be very good company tonight. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 